What's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to check out some CCW sweatpants. So let's get started. We often get asked about how to CCW when you're wearing gym clothes. So this company Arrowhead Tactical reached out to us and sent us some different ones. So we have a sweatpant that Neil's gonna try on later and then the joggers that I'm wearing right now. What makes these special versus other leggings and sweatpants that I've seen is that instead of having a pocket or a spot where you can use like a fabric clip to connect your, your gun, it actually comes with a belt. So it keeps it nice and secure whether you're out walking, running, hiking, uh, you take it to the gym and work out. I'm gonna jump in here for just a minute. Uh, I will tell you this, I don't really understand the desire and the need to have these and basketball shorts and sweatpants uh, to carry your gun in. I don't understand it personally, but it doesn't matter what I think because it's all about you guys. And evidently, it's a big deal because Kim and I get tons of questions on how to carry the gym and all this other stuff uh, with these types, with this type of apparel. I can tell you that just from a general uh, sweatpants or, or a basketball short type of setup, these are fantastic. Forget the fact that they're gun related in any way. If you went to the regular, you know, sporting goods stores, whatever that you go to to buy your athletic stores to buy the stuff, you would be completely thrilled. I can tell you that the quality is very, very good. They even have a little logo. I'm going to bring it up to the camera. All right. And it's actually a raised, like rubberized logo, which is actually very cool. Kind of melds into the material and it's very nice. Um, <clears throat> It has the same drawstrings like you would have in any other pair of sweatpants, but it does have some additional pockets in here, which are kind of cool. The sweatpants come with this really long belt so you can adjust it to your actual size. So before you go and run it through your pants, like I try to do, silly me, you should first figure out what size you want the belt to be. So wrap it around you first, figure out what size you want it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the belt and right now this part of the clip is not connected yet. So we're gonna run the belt through here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and you're gonna stick it through here, figure out whatever point it was that you were gonna keep it at and then run it through this way. And then it has this little band here. You can stick this to keep it in its place. And now the belt's all set up. So you can see that the attachment's really interesting. It's kind of like a magnet. You can see and it clicks in this place. So we have it where we want it. This is how it clicks into place. Now we're gonna take the belt and run it through the pants and then you can add your gun and hold. So Neil and I are gonna give you two different examples. I'm obviously a woman with a very different body than Neil. I'm also about 5'7", so everyone always thinks I'm short. I don't know why. Um, so I'm a pretty tall girl and you can see how these fit me. I'm wearing a size small. I almost wish I would went up a size just because of the length. You can see it is short on me. This is the jogger style, so it's, it's meant to be shorter. Uh, if you are a taller man who's six foot or taller, you want to go with the sweatpants that Neil went with. Okay, so first of all, um, you... No, I'm just kidding. I'm 6'1", 220. Um, here's my thing. So if you notice in my thigh area, they're always very tight. Uh, most pants are. I don't, like, I do a lot of squats and... I don't want to tell you, but I just naturally, everybody has some big parts of their bodies and my legs are pretty, uh, pretty stout. And so it's always been a problem for me. I always buy like diabetic socks because my calves are big and I always buy pants that have really big waists on them so that they can fit both my gun and also give me more space in the uh, thigh area. So don't judge them necessarily like that. My thighs are bigger than average. Um, but for standard, you know, sweatpants, these feel very comfortable. The material is very nice. I wouldn't know that these are, you know, specifically gun type uh, you know, this is not a, a gun specific apparel. This feels just like any regular sweatpants. So uh, I would say that that's, uh, what are these, Kim, the largest? Yeah, those are large. These are the largest. They do have two pockets uh, up front, just like your normal like, jeans or whatever. And then it has two, I'll turn around here. We've got two zipper pockets. I believe, yeah, there's a zipper here, a zipper here. So you got two of those if you want to put stuff in there. So it does have a little extra, most sweatpants necessarily may not have all those pockets, so I would say that's a plus. And the joggers also come with a nice little straight. They're much more tighter fitting than Neil's, you can see. So as Kim showed you earlier, this is how the 
belt comes in there. It's just a metal clip like you've seen a billion times. Run it through and pull it back. So what we're going to do now is run this end through the actual pants. And I'm going to show you how that works. I guess at this point in the video, we'll be like, well, what makes these gun shorts or gun pants or gun sweatpants or whatever? The deal is simply this. Unlike a normal belt that we would run on the outside, this belt, by the way, runs on the inside. So I'm going to turn these around from the camera. I don't know if this is the right direction or not. It doesn't matter. But this is the inside of the pant, okay? You will see that there's a big, I don't know, two, two and a half inch uh, spot. And these are uh, all over. These are big loops. So the way we run these through is we take that end and run it through. I'm doing this on camera, so whatever. I'm doing the best I can here. But essentially, you're going to run this through. So just like you would like a really thick belt loop, but this is internal. Understand that. That's internal. So at the end of the day, the outside is going to look just like a regular sweatpant. Totally uh, covert. All said and done, you're going to see something that looks like this. The uh, belt running all the way through. We're going to end up with our loop at the end. We'll talk about this buckle. It's got a little magnet. It's pretty cool. But again, we're going to run this buckle through. Nothing... Uh, magical about this what you can do depending on how long it gets uh, i would at some point cut this i didn't want to do it for the video just so you could see but you could cut this burn it with a lighter just to make sure that it's you know it's not going to fray on you uh, if you really want to shorten it up to make it there but essentially what you're going to end up with are these two buckle parts this little circle here here hopefully the camera can pick that up that is a magnet okay and you'll feel them kind of you see how the buckle just lifts up like that okay magnetic and so the way this is going to work is this is going to connect inside here, oops, like so, and pull tight. So super easy. Disconnect, connect, disconnect, connect. Very quick, very easy. I wanted to show this real quick just because if you ever do this the first time, um, I ran this buckle upside down. So this is the way it should work, but as you can see, this is twisted. You don't have to unfish all of this. All you got to do is flip this buckle around, all right? So this is, the, this is the way it's supposed to go. So we're just going to flip the material so that it's straight. Here we have them on. We've got the metal buckle back here. Super simple disconnect. This is what creates your, oops. This is what creates your reinforcement for your gun. I'm going to throw a gun on here. We'll do it appendix style so you can kind of see how it looks. I got my trusty CZ T10C, one of my favorites. We got the Tolster holster there. It's got the actual wing on there, which I like. Okay, pretty good setup. I don't carry appendix, but we're going to do it for this film anyway. So basically make sure the clip, by the way, whatever attachment point that you have on there goes. And this is the other cool part about this. It's going to go on the inside, so you won't even see anything from the outside, because that's going to attach to that actual belt. So here we go. We're going to take this whole deal. We're going to put it in there. The actual, I'm going to pull this down so you can kind of see. All right. And then this clip will go over that and hook in there. Okay. So if I pull this all the way down, you can see that's attached to that. Okay. Nice and tight in there. Make sure my buckles all connected there. All right. And you can tighten this up even more. I know it looks a little janky because it's kind of loose just so for this video. But there you go. I can throw my, my t-shirt on there. Looks pretty... Pretty solid there. Got my regular athletic wear on. I can jump up and down. Okay, that's not going anywhere. It shows it nice and concealed. I can do squats, I can do bench, whatever. I'm gonna do working out, I can jog, uh, and that isn't going anywhere. I ran mine with a more pancake style holster because I wore it in the 430 position. Uh, the one thing you'll have to be mindful of is you might have to change exactly where you're gonna place on your body because they do have those big fabric um, belt loops so you do have to move it around just a little bit but i didn't find it inconvenient the only other thing i wasn't a big fan of was the the length i think they could be a little bit longer like i said i'm five seven and they were pretty short even on me um i probably would get a size up or if i was a guy who might go with the uh sweatpants that neil has i love the actual material that they're made of they're really well really well made um, the zipper pockets in the back are awesome and they're super comfortable unlike neil i actually think these are great I can see why people would want something like this because you want to be comfortable, you want to be able to go hiking and do fun things like that, or just maybe you want to be lazy and not have to wear jeans with with a zipper. I don't know. <laughs> um, they they're really cool.
They make them from size small to 3X. They also come in different colors. I had the black, Neil had the green. These also make gray. Besides for the sweatpants Neil's wearing, the joggers I'm wearing, they also make a basketball short. So if you guys are interested in any of that, we'll put a link below. They also uh, set us up with a discount code for you guys. So if you put in GFA15, you'll get 15% off your order. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment. We always love to hear from all of you. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. Click the bell so you get notified every time we put a video out. You can find us on Facebook, on Instagram, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.